there and welcome to today's video where I'll be talking about what I think will happen in Fantastic Beasts The Crimes of Grindelwald four months before it's been released. Now, of course, my biggest idea of what's happening is Grindelwald having some sort of horcrux as I've mentioned in this video, but that's about it that I actually have. But that is also a theory. I will start with where I hopefully list everyone where they all are. In America we have Jacob and Queenie. We have Makusa officials. In England we have Newt and Dumbledore, possibly Flamel and like Travers and the Ministry officials. And in Paris we have Grindelwald, I think he starts out in Paris. The circus characters, so Credence and the Maledictus especially. And Tina, and that's it for the main characters. So what I think will happen is that Newt is in England, just published his book, and he wants to go over to the USA to hand the, to give Tina a copy of the book. But Tina's been kidnapped and taken to Paris. Her necklace is on the floor in a shot from the trailer when Newt is picking up the Paris postcard. Now the Paris postcard could be like a kidnap letter. But it could also be an invitation to Theseus and Leto's wedding, maybe? Um, and Newt's just kind of going over that, like, oh, I should really go to Paris now. And he takes Queenie and Jacob with him. Uh, because the extra magic, or like, Queenie wants to save her sister and then they take Jacob along. Or, I think, because Abernathy is also in this movie, the guy who Queenie talks to when she's taking everyone out in the suitcase in the first movie. So he might have some sort of connection to the French Ministry of Magic and send Queenie over there with Makusa business or something, but then Jacob also comes along. They might stop over in England uh, to talk to Dumbledore, but they don't have to. Credence, he's already in Paris, I think by the time the movie starts. And he's joined the circus because he wants a purpose in life. He's orphaned his whole life. So he wants a purpose in life. But he might get to find his family there because of this shot where there's a family tree which clearly says uh, Credence and Lita Lestrange. They're all quite French names in that family tree. Yeah, and then he develops some sort of relationship with the Maleditus, with Claudia Kim's character. Uh, and they took him into the circus because he's learned to control the obscurus inside him. I don't know what much more happens to Credence, but I feel like we won't see him interact with the main characters. Dumbledore initially just sends Newt over to Paris, who maybe takes Jacob and Queenie along. Uh, but he stays where he is because he's a teacher at Hogwarts, he needs to teach, unless it's in the summer. And I feel like Nicholas Flamel is also initially in England but maybe gone to the French Ministry of Magic to sort some stuff out or maybe he's related to Theseus through the ministry somehow and wants to go to the wedding which the wedding is completely theoretical but I reckon it will happen and it's in Paris I think that Newt will meet Nicholas at some point and have some sort of mission together and then most of the characters will congregate at the wedding uh, which again theoretical but and then some sort of disaster happens at the wedding, like a Bill and Fleurs, um, and they all kind of go their separate ways. Maybe that's when Newt rides the Kelpie, but honestly, I don't know why he's riding the Kelpie. And then in the end, at least Newt and Theseus team up and uh, fight Grindelwald in the graveyard place. And I found a really interesting theory about this, that Grindelwald is a dragon, because there's lots of wind, which could be caused by the flapping wings and there are sparks around which could be caused by the fire breathing so Grindelwald could be an animagus who turns into a dragon these are all theories based on almost nothing so this video might be terrible to look back at uh, once the movie's out which is in like four months everyone will already know what happened to the movie and that's so weird to think about now of course there are many more new characters to put into the mix for example, Bunty, Newt's assistant, who we haven't seen in the trailers yet, but who I hope will have a bigger role as time progresses. There are also quite a few Polish names in the cast. Uh, there is Bart Solotryski, who only has the name of a character not been shown in any trailers yet. And of course, I don't actually know if Bart is Polish, but the name suggests so. He plays Stebbins. But then we also have Kamil Lemyashevsky, who is apparently playing a wizard 
but it was also really high up on the cast list. He's between the Maledictus and Theseus on the list. And I know that is not exactly the order of importance, because Depp is only three above the Maledictus. But it's still quite interesting. And Camille is Polish, uh, that can be checked online. Yeah, we have Yusuf, who's in the circus. Uh, looking kind of a bit worried. There are so many new characters who I'm very excited for. There's a lot of actors who are listed just as wizard, muggle, prisoner. But there are a lot who also have like proper names. And I'm interested to see how they all tie into the story. They might all just be part of the circus or some other place where it's easy to put a lot of characters in. You might be asking yourself, how does Grindelwald escape prison? There's this shot in the trailer which is a carriage and Grindelwald sits in a carriage and the only proper thing we get to see him in the trailer. So I feel like because the building doesn't look like it could be in New York, it's probably in Paris and Grindelwald was moved to Paris because either he's European or Paris has a more secure prison. Yeah, so there's that building which looks kind of Parisian. So I think that those people break him out of there. That's why he's all scruffy because it's been about, uh, but it's been at least a few months, if not a year. Uh, from the last movie, so that's Grindelwald has time to grow that hair out, and then he cuts uh, his hair for the court place, which I think is him gathering followers. That's another great place to put a lot of characters in, like all the Death Eaters have names, so maybe all of Grindelwald's followers will have names that are just on the IMDb page. I don't know how Bunty, Newt's assistant, will play into the movie. Um, she's not in any of the trailers, so I have nothing to go off of. Because Newt didn't have an assistant in the first movie, it must mean that she probably works at the Ministry and is just helping Newt with the book publishing or joins him after the book was published or something like that. Uh, and she joins him after the book was published because he gained so much popularity maybe. I have now the good characters, the bad characters and the characters I'm not too sure of. Good, we have Newt, Dumbledore, Jacob, we're pretty sure can be good Queenie. And that's about it of who I'm sure is good. Uh, on the bad side, we obviously have Grindelwald and Vinderosier. I'm also fairly sure that Theseus isn't completely good. Lita is probably on the good side. She's not actually related to Bellatrix. Credence is very in the middle for me right now. But I feel like he'll end up being good. The Maledictus, less so. Um, I feel like she's probably manipulating him in some way. But these, again, these are all just what I think. Flamel on the good side, I hope. So now, based on what I think the plot is, here is the trailer re-edited to be in chronological order of what I think. to be you. If you have ever had the pleasure to teach him, You'd know Newt is not a great follower of orders. Are you going somewhere? No, we're going somewhere. Jeez. The time's coming, Newt.
We've also got an image of young Newt training with Dumbledore, probably against a bot art. That's kind of what the lesson looks like. It resembles the Prisoner of Azkaban bot art scene. But you see, Lee and Theseus don't even have to get married. I'm just basing this off of them being together and there being a party which Lee to attends. And dancing's involved. And it looks like it could be a wedding because it's very icy. But it could also just be like a French Ministry of Magic business party. How do the actual beasts play in? Well... Grindelwald being a dragon, Animagus is probably a pretty big one. The mooncalves are in the case, the bow truckle picket is out. Um, I really hope we get to see more of the Demi guys because he's my favourite creature. Dougal is amazing. And of course we have the very mysterious Sebastian who is either a young person involved in this or someone who used to be involved in either Grindelwald, Dumbledore, Newt's or Lita's life when they were young but no longer is one more thing i wanted to say flamel in old french means flame so that could have some sort of link to grindled potentially being a dragon thank you so much for watching this video i really do hope that you enjoyed it please feel free to comment what you think will happen in the movie um and argue with me because there's very little information i've gone off of this is just my idea of the movie right now which will probably be very wrong and very just cringy to look back on because it's so wrong. But I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.